going on y'all this is Daxon here with Noxide.org link will be in the description of the video I post a lot of my 3d printing stuff there this video I just kind of want to go over the monoprice v2 um, I like it quite a bit it was a lot more difficult to level the bed than it was with um, the select mini which you can see I have a lot of other videos on it I've been printing filament holders if you look up there on the wall um, it's holding my filament up on the wall, so I definitely like that. It's pretty cool. They're pretty sturdy. And this I designed a shelf, so I'm um, trying to print off a shelf. If you look up over there, the white thing um, with the shower nozzle and a little dog and a tank and stuff on it, that white shelf. It was too small, but it worked good. So I'm trying to print um, another design. Let me go ahead and go over my computer and show it to you. So right here is the design. I'm hoping it comes out like I hope it'll come out. This is actually upside down. This part will be like the supports, okay? But uh, that's pretty much what it looks like. So uh, I'll keep pausing and resuming and uh, showing you the progress on it, so. All right, so here we are and I, it is at 3%. And yes, I do have the speed of 500% because it's taking so long to go back and forth. Um, so I guess it'd be printing at, what, like 250 millimeters per second? Because it's set at 50, which would be 100%, so it's at 500%. I guess you can do the math, but I have the extruder set at 220, and I have the bed, the platform set at 60. I was having a lot of problems with this and kept having to call tech support because I was having like really stringy filament came out. It came down to my bed not being level. My Cura settings were wrong. It was trying to print too thin. And I was using some really cheap filament which works with this printer but it's already been you know configured and works good. Not, I can't remember the brand of that but if you see any filament that looks like that I would not buy it. I definitely do not recommend it. But now I'm using this by this company, and it's pretty good. I like it a lot. And as well as the hatch box, that's like my wooden filament. It's like 30% wood or something. But yeah, this is a little video on this. This is going to take quite a while. Um, it'll probably be, I think my computer, my, yeah, my computer says it's a 10 hour print, and that's printing at you know just a hundred percent but I have it at 500 I just put it up there once it starts getting to the more detailed parts I will most likely slow it down so it can do that better but when you're at this big old piece right here yeah that'd take forever if it was just you know it would take the 10 or 11 hours but I'm gonna pause this for a while and come back later as we start seeing more progress so uh, keep you updated hey everybody I just want to come back with an update <clears throat> it's been probably 45 minutes or so are at 8% um, temperature still going good and everything I did move it back down to 50% speed for a while instead of 500 as you can see the little fine lines kind of the filling that takes less filament um, but now once this uh, top layer gets done actually I'll go ahead and put it to like 150% right now So I can get this a little bit done. And once that first layer, I don't know if you can really see it very well. You can see how like all these are little, like kind of little squares and then it's starting to do that top layer right there. Um, once it gets this top layer done, then I'll move it back up to like four or 500% so we can get that, you know, the thick part over with. And hopefully after that we could start getting to the little beams and the back part that'll actually hold the shelf to the wall. So, uh, once we get a little bit closer, um, I will come back with an update. All right, I'm back here again. Let's come and see how far along it is. Not very much farther, 11%. Um, it's been printing for quite a while, probably right on, I don't know, maybe two hours now. Um, it's going over the top now. You see on each piece you print, you have the bottom. It's actually like a straight thick layer and then you have kind of a hollow part with the squares as you've seen a minute ago in there and now it's going back over and doing like it did when it first started 
making one full thick layer. And if you can see here, it's gonna start the little frame part right there. That'll come, let's see where am I at right here? That part will come up and it'll go down and connect to that. And it'll do that on both ends. I don't know how good you can see it where it, it leaves it kind of open and hollow there and that for the shapes to be extruded up there on all the corners. And then everything else will be flat. This will actually, this part will actually be the shelf part. Um, it'll be pretty good size for something, you know, printed with 3D printer. By far the biggest thing that uh, I have printed with a 3D printer. So I'm pretty excited. And hopefully it does not screw up. Um, I'd be pretty disappointed after all this filament. Um, right here you can see how much I've used. This was a brand new roll when I first started this. So it's used a decent amount. I don't know. It'll probably take... I had to guess a good quarter of this roll so we're probably talking uh, five dollars to seven dollars to print this just a guess I mean it did say it take take ten hours that percentage will start moving faster once it's once it's done doing this thick part I'm not sure why it's like that you think it would show the overall and I could be wrong maybe it does or show something else but as soon as it's done with the actual shelf part and starts building up on the shapes that is going to be like the frame that's going to hold it to the wall, um, that percentage should start going up a lot faster. So I'm going to take a break here again and I'll try to come back when it actually starts building the shapes. I know I keep saying that, but uh, I just keep getting excited and want to get it on video. So, so I'll be right back. All right, so now it's starting to build the leg part of it, the actual platform part that will hold the shelf up. We're now running at 18%. Extruder's at 220, platform still at 60. You kinda see there on the edge. Just starting to stick up on all the corners. Alright guys, now we're definitely starting to see the form of the shelf. I did notice it looks like I should have made these beams right here a little bit thicker because they're not quite as strong as I like. They should have been as thick as these back posts. But I don't know how, until it's attached, you know, on both sides. But it's getting somewhere. And again, this is printing upside down, so kind of hard to know what it looks like besides what I showed you on the computer earlier. It's now at 64%. It's been going for probably five hours or so. And this is where we're at. Still got a decent amount of filament left. Shouldn't take as much now to just do these beams. So uh, I'll probably come back when it's finished because it's starting to get late now. So, all right, see you in a little bit. almost done 92% sped it up to 400% I was getting impatient so it's a little bit sloppier but I'm just ready for it to be done at this point So the beams right here on the shelf are getting a little weak, so I came in here to my design. This will be the updated one that I'll have on my website, www.noxide.org. Link will be in the description of this video, but I added these beams right here to help support this, and I also made these two millimeters thicker, um, so it should help support it and make it a lot stronger. Time to 
gonna slow it down. Officially connected.